Hey you guys, how's it going? This is Brad Mall coming at you. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope your shopping experience here in the mall is a great one as well. Okay, we are starting a new thing today. It is called Mini Home Survival. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I don't know if you've heard of the craze going on in the real world today. Everybody's wanting to live in mini homes. And I thought, you know what? That would be very useful in Minecraft if we could make some very survival efficient mini homes. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to make some efficient mini homes that will be good in your survival world and what's good about that is you know the 30 minutes the first 30 minutes of minecraft you can have yourself a nice little build it won't just be a dirt hut a hidey hole or whatever you know just a square build you're gonna have a nice a nice build going on for you and your friends are gonna be still collecting wood punching wood and collecting cobblestone and they're gonna be coming over and be like oh man you already got a house built and everything man that looks awesome can you build me something you'll be like yes i can so yeah let's get into it today these are the materials that you're gonna need you're gonna need 15 stone bricks you're gonna need 20 cobblestone you're gonna need two cobblestone wall you're gonna need 44 cobblestone stairs you're gonna need 16 cobblestone slabs and then you're gonna need 39 wood planks if you're choosing Eight wood stairs, same, uh, preferably the same wood that you chose for your planks. Two wood fence. This could di this could be different. One door, four glass panes, and eight trap doors, and that's gonna get us our house built today. But we're gonna go ahead and get started into it. Place this block here. One, two, three, four, five, and there we go. We've already got we've already got we already got it going. And then let's place another one here. Skip this one for the door. One, two, and then come along the side here. One, two, three, four, five. It is a five by five house. In case you haven't figured that out yet, and that's what it looks like. And that's gonna leave us a three three by three space to live in. You think, man, that's gonna be cramped, and it might seem cramped, but we're gonna make it as super survival efficient as we can. And I tell you what, guys, I, you guys are gonna like this house. You're gonna like it. All right, let's go ahead and get our planks and come along the side like so. We'll leave one open for a window here. Fill this in. We're gonna fill in the whole backside, and then come over here, leave one for the window again, and there we go. There's our second layer. Now come along the top here. Go ahead and place that there. Just go ahead straight across on the top on the front. Now on this side, we'll go like this. Leave that space. Throw a stair in there so you get that nice effect that we all like and know about. And then full, full across on that next level. And then like so. And like so. There we go. And this is what we got looking. It's what it looks like right now. I know it don't look like much and she just looks like a square, but... Just trust me, here in a few more blocks, she's going to start taking shape. And that's actually what we're going to do right now. All right, we're looking at the front of the house with the door, right? We're going to place two more planks. We're going to take some stairs, go on top of each, each plank like so. And then upside down stairs in the middle. So you get that shape right there, okay? And then we're going to repeat that on the other side. On the back side of the house, we're going to repeat that same shape. So very very familiar shape there and now on this one we're just gonna make a one two three and then above like that and then we get that shape so like that all right see I told you she's it's starting to take shape real quick look at that look at how quick she's taking shape you're like well she's still square I know I know be patient we still got lots to add we have lots to add all right let's start breaking some grass let's get our shovel out start breaking some grass we're gonna go ahead and break all this in here because I'm gonna put the cobblestone floor down. You can switch these blocks out however you want. That's gonna change the numbers, obviously. So you can't go all directly off of the numbers I gave you at the beginning of the video. But that's that's the beautiful thing about Minecraft is it's yours. You make it however you want to make it. All right, so there's our cobblestone floor and our cobblestone porch. Let's go ahead and throw our cobblestone walls down. You only needed two of those. Now you can actually you're gonna get six. So if you just want to make this all cobblestone, you can. But I, I it just. I went with oak fence here because it breaks up the color here and it breaks up the cobblestone. And we're going to tie cobblestone into this as well. So you might want to stick with this. But it's up to you. It's up to you. If you think it looks good, then go with it. Go with it. All right. Now to start on our roof. We're going to start on this corner, come out one, and then go all the way across and then come out one again. Now we're going to take our planks no not our planks <laughs> our slabs our cobblestone slabs and go across the top just on those we're gonna leave this leave that off we're not gonna go flush with that because it leaves a nice little detail you know adds a little more detail and that's what we're wanting to pull from our mini home all right now we just come along here and fill the roof in like so it's very simple just making sure you're coming out one now this part's a little tricky you just get the stair and you attach it to there so it does a little nice little corner corner little piece there Let's do that again. 
And there you go. You've almost got your roof complete. I mean, look at that. Now, now you're seeing it. I know you're seeing it now. Now you're excited. All right, now on the back side, you just do the exact same thing. Come off one on each side like so. And then you hop up there. Do that. Do that. Fill it up. Fill it all the way up. She likes it. But anyways, would then... Oh, nope, not like that. Connect those and connect these. And then I'm going to give you a little... I'm going to... Oh, I didn't, and then, well, that's, we could do that. That's fine. That's fine. That'll work. Okay, and now, on the other, on the other side of these, we'll go like this, like so. Now, I like to do this, because it just kind of fills that in right there. So, make sure you put that in there. You don't have to. That'll take two stairs off of your count if you don't want to put the stair in like so, like that. But then, these are definitely necessary. They look nice. They make the roof nice. All right, let's give it a look around here. See, I told you she's taking shape. Look at her. She's beautiful now, isn't she? Wait till we start adding the detail. All right. Now you need to take your slabs again. The rest, the remaining or re the remainder of your slabs and throw them across the tops like so. And it's very simple. You just cover up the holes and extend it all the way there. And we have got this thing built. That's all you've got to do for the exterior. You've got this house built. Look at it. It's nice. All right. Now I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw the oak door down because I feel like ever since ever since they put those new doors in there nobody likes to use it but I think it adds a little bit more color to to the house. All right, let's pull out some things that we need. We're gonna need the grass panes and I told you trap doors. Okay, let's go ahead and fill in the glass with this. Now you can actually, if you want to, not cook glass. You could put trap doors in here. I'll show you an example of that. You can put trap doors in here, but I wouldn't do the same thing that we're going to do with the trap doors here in a minute if you put the trap doors for your windows. I would just let that be, and that's only you're going to only need four trap doors then, and no glass panes if you do that option, if you do this option right here. And you can place it in like that, or you can come on the inside. We'll go ahead and give you another look at it. Just all the, all the options you got, and you can place it like that. Now, this doesn't connect, so that might not work as well. Other like place it like that it connects but we're gonna do this and then with our trap doors we're gonna do our we're gonna do our you know uh the shutters we're gonna do the shutters i forgot the word there for a second but we got it we're gonna do the shutters now we are uh, we are done we are done with this house now it's up to you to decorate the inside and put it however you want but tell me that i don't look good but i want to help you guys out a little bit more i'm going to help you guys out show you guys exactly how you probably need to make this house the most efficient you can make it. All right, let's clear some of this stuff out of our inventory. First, we're going to need some light, right? I'm going to throw this light up here in the roof right there, in those two slots right there, okay? And then we're going to need a crafting bench. We're going to need some furnaces, and we're going to need some chests, and we're also going to need a bed, okay? That's what we're going to need for right now. And let's go ahead and grab some oak wood slabs. Okay, and the good thing about the oak wood slabs here is we're going to use six of them, so... How many do you get when you make slabs? You get six of them. So three wood planks, you get six slabs. That's going to be perfect. You're not going to have any any left over in your inventory. I'm going to throw the chest on the on the sides like here. Not right there, you silliness. And right there. And then we're going to throw this right there and this right there. Look, we've already got our chest. We've already got some chest and our furnace. Two furnace side right there. Two furnaces looking nice. Okay, I'm going to throw my bed down. There's a couple of different options you can do here. I like this one. This one's the one I like the best. I like to throw the chest there, the chest there, and the crafting bench there. And it just kind of, it leaves this area open so it doesn't feel as cramped. Now you can go ahead and put like the bed on this side, but see how that takes away the space. The good thing about this house though, if you wanted to take this down, you can make a staircase down or just a ladder down into a basement. But that's going to be the inside of this build right here. I mean, tell me, this ain't efficient. And tell me they don't look good. Now, one more thing. One more thing I'm going to do for you guys just to help you guys. I know it's sitting out here on this on this flat world. I'm going to show you kind of some, uh, some outside stuff that you could do that will help make your house pop and stand out. Okay. Now, I don't, th I don't know this from my own experience. I just know because my mother-in-law told me this. And I have mentioned this in a video before. But when you're doing flowers, like she's she's a gardener, she likes to do flower pots and all that stuff. And she told me one time that you gotta have something tall, you gotta have something medium, and you gotta have something low, and that looks best in like a flower pot and stuff. So there we go. We did that, and you got your tall, medium, low, and it, the low is actually supposed to be hanging, but we don't have anything hanging. We can't. We don't have anything hanging. 
we just can't do that in a flower pot. Um, you could do dirt with some vines and stuff, but we're not gonna get we're not gonna get into that. But that looks good. And then what else you need? You need yourself a nice tree right next to your house. The the sun is setting. We don't need the sun to set anymore. We're gonna throw a, a tree right down. We're not gonna block our window. We're gonna put it right there. We're gonna get some bone meal. Throw some bone meal on it. Get this thing grown up. What kind of tree are we gonna get? Hopefully it's a good one. Come on, come on. There it is, there's the tree. That's a good one. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Now tell me that your friends wouldn't be impressed if you had that built within the first 30 minutes of Minecraft. All right, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it for me. I would super appreciate it. Here's the inside one more time just for you guys. But yes, if you plan on putting this in your world, leave a like on it. And if you're not, go ahead and push that like button. No, I'm playing. Whatever you want to do. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what size of houses you'd like to do. We're thinking mini, all right? That's the, that's the concept is mini home survival that is the series name whatever i guess that's what i'm gonna call it but mini home survival we're gonna be trying to make as small as homes we can so very efficient but they also look good that's what we're going for man that just look that tell me that don't look good tell me that wouldn't look good nestled into a little forest there yeah okay and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can see more of these types of builds and more of the other stuff that i do but anyways thanks for watching thanks for shopping and i'll see you guys in the next one bye